in this video we are going to learn the, the chart control chart control let us represent the data in graphical format for better understanding and easy readability it is useful particularly in the dashboard kind of application or for the report generation dashboard application is a kind of application that provides ability to the user to to to, to look at the data or to analyze the data on the single screen now there are almost 35 types of charts available in ASP.NET and all those charts can be generated using ASP chart control. In this example we are going to learn how to create a bar chart or column chart in ASP.NET. In order to create a bar chart or column chart in ASP.NET we, uh, we, we have to naturally use the chart control so here I am going to use the chart control. This is my chart control. Now. Uh, let me explain the code that I have written into this chart control. Here I have a chart uh, control and under that we have two children elements. The first is the series. Series element basically helps us to uh, specify that what kind of chart we want to generate and what will be the value of the x coordinate and what will be the value of the y coordinate. And then we have another uh, children element called chart area. The chart area exp uh, help us to specify the location where we want to uh, generate the chart. Once we have that then we can simply create one data source. So let me create a data source for this particular chart and uh, here is my data source. You can see this. I am just loading into the page uh, load event. So here I have created one data set object and then using dot read xml method we are uh, reading the xml data and then we are specifying the data source of the chart and then we are binding the data. Now let me create one data source. So here is my data source. You can see this. Let me create one XML file here. And here is my data source. Now in this data source we have a country as a parent node and under that there are, there are population that is all child nodes are there. And in this population we have two fields called year and value and I have specified the year and the value is specified in terms of population. It means that in 2005 this much population, in 2006 this much population. Now the same year and value has been specified as a x coordinate and the y coordinate of the chart. Now once we have specified everything here then then what we need to do is that one very important point to note here is that we when we will add the chart control by default some configuration gets added into the web config file but you will have to make sure that you are dragging and dropping the chart control from the toolbox if you will simply write the chart control like this that will not automatically add these web.config file settings. So if you drag and drop then these web.config file settings will automatically get written in your uh, web.config file. If it is not being written then naturally you will have to copy paste these settings uh, from uh, from the ebook that I have. You can see my web.config file setting here. So you can simply copy these settings and, and paste it in your web.config file. Once you have copy pasted then you are done. So now let me run this page. When I will run this page you will notice that one chart will get created on, on my page. So this is the bar chart. Now the, with the same data we can also create the column chart. So we need to specify the chart type equal to column and when I refresh this page you will see that the column chart has been created. So this is the way to create a chart uh, in the ASP.NET.